Okay, so we're going to look at the atom, um, what it is, what it's made from, um, and why it's important and pretty much used in all parts of physics. So what is an atom? Um, so an atom is the building blocks of everything. Everything that has stuff is made of atoms. If we look at a whole house um, and then cut it in half, we'd end up with half a house. And if we cut it in half again, we'd end up with a quarter of a house. And if you keep cutting it and cutting it and cutting it, eventually you'll end up with a single brick that you can't cut in half. And that's what we mean by building blocks. Um, when we apply this to anything, you can apply this to a table, you'd end up with the building blocks where it cannot be cut in half again, and that is called the atom. If you look at a table, um, the table is made up of lots of atoms. The only difference is we can't see an individual atom because they're so small. Um, but that's what they're made from. Um, everything's made of atoms, so me, the table, the air, um, solids, liquids, gases, everything like that. It's all made of these building blocks. And all of these building blocks have a very similar structure that we need to know. This is what it looks like. Um, this is a carbon atom. Um, as you can see, it's got six protons, six neutrons, and six electrons. Um, this diagram is really, really important. So I'd make sure you get this down um, or look at it very closely. Make sure you can draw any of the atoms in the first 20 of the periodic table. It's really, really important you understand this structure it's used in um, physics and chemistry loads. The first bit we need to know about the atom is this middle bit here. This is called the nucleus, and the nucleus contains protons and neutrons. The proton is this blue circle you can see. Um, they've got a charge of plus one. Um, they have an actual specific charge, but at GCSE level, all we need to know is we've defined that proton as plus one. So everything now is relative to this proton. Um, and it's got a mass of one, just one. It has got a complicated mass in kilograms, but all we need to know is it's we're going to call it just one, and everything else is going to be relative to that proton. Um, the other next thing is the neutron inside this picture. It's the red circles. Um, and they've got a charge of zero. They are neutral. Um, and they've got a mass of one. So they have the same mass as a proton, but they do have a different charge. The last thing we need to know is the electron. The electron are these little green balls that fly around the outside of the nucleus. They've got a negative charge. So if the proton has a charge of plus one, then these have a charge of minus one. And they have a very tiny mass. You don't need to know specifically. If you did want to know, it's 1,840th of a proton. So they're really, really tiny. Um, they look just like a little marble, a tiny little ball, and they fly around the nucleus in these circular orbits. Those black lines don't really exist, but they're just to show you that those green balls fly around the outside. A little bit like the moon um, goes around the Earth. It would probably be really useful if you made a table just like this. So in the left-hand column, you can write your subatomic particle, your proton, neutron, electron. You could write the charge of each one and the mass of each one, as they're really, really useful in loads of topics. And if you memorize this table, it would be really useful for you.